Now, I just want to pray this with you right now, and we're going to pray the prayer of protection. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I'm not begging for protection. You already said it is mine. So I thank you that for my household and everyone agreeing with me right now, we pray over our house. I thank you that we who dwell in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. I say, O Lord, you, O God, are a shield about me. Hallelujah. You are my glory and you are the lifter of my head. I thank you that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous will run into it and they are saved. Hallelujah. I thank you that we will not fear the arrow that flieth by day or the pestilence that stalketh in the night. Pestilence means plague. The pestilence that stalketh in the night. Night means you can't see it. I will not fear the diseases and plagues that I can't see. I will not fear them and do a, do a thousand fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand. In. It shall not come nigh you. It shall not come nigh you. It shall not come nigh our dwelling place. Hallelujah. I thank you for that. We have made the most high our dwelling place and it shall not touch us. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against us thou shalt condemn. I thank you that though the afflictions that come against the righteous are many, the Lord delivers us out of them all. I thank you, Lord, that we've not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. I thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus, we cast our cares upon you, for you care for us, and we are anxious for nothing, but in all things with prayer and thanksgiving, we make our petitions be made known to God, and the peace that it passes all understanding shall guard our hearts and our minds, our children's minds, our husbands, our wives, our households shall guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I thank you. Notice I'm not begging God. I'm thanking him for the covenant promise he's already given me. I thank you that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the very valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Good God Almighty. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. And thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God said in Deuteronomy 7 and 15, none of the afflictions of Egypt shall come upon you. It came upon Egypt, but it couldn't touch you. Translate that now, New Testament. None of the afflictions of the world shall come upon you. None of the afflictions of the world shall come upon you. It means you can be in it, but it can't touch you because you are God's and God has a covenant with you. The Bible says you can even drink deadly poison and it shall not harm you. I thank you God that your favor according to Psalm 5 encompasses us round about as a shield and according to Psalm 20 that all of our plans that we have laid right here shall succeed. And God in the name of Jesus we thank you for grace and mercy. Grace that gives us what we do not deserve and mercy that does not let evil touch our life but mercy has swallowed it up in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I feel the anointing of the Spirit of God. And with the apostolic authority God has given me, I speak this. With the full weight of God's glory, I speak this into the atmosphere. And with the, with the authority in the name of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit and the anointing that destroys the yoke and removes the burden, I declare that this disease is stopped in its tracks, is eradicated, will not touch the people of God, and is removed from our country, is removed from our world. And I speak a restoration to our economy and a restoration to our normal way of life, and that the people of God and the church of God is strengthened. And this is turned on the enemy, and this strengthens us and does not weaken us, weaken us in Jesus' name. In his holy precious name, the name above every name, that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Everything in heaven and on earth and under the earth. It's in his name we pray. Angels go. Psalm 103. You who excel in strength who hearken to the voice of the word of God now and do the word. This is how I pray. Play this video every night and have peace. In Jesus name. I love you and I care about you. Amen.